Hello, this is Liquid Ocelot, and uh, today I'm back with another uh, shoutcast. And uh, before I start this video, I would uh, like to tell you guys if you want to contribute towards tournament and uh, for increasing price pool, you can check uh, two donation emails. One is for uh, Game Replays Administrator Matthew Salah, and one is for uh, Game Replays. Kane's Wrath, uh, CNC Division, um, Command and Conquer Division Administrator, Toxic Shock. So you can send them your donations. Also, I would remind you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and click that bell icon for updates. Now, uh, which game am I casting today? That's the big question. And today I have with me um, I have with me oh, wait I did the wrong replay I will uh, I, I I didn't want it to do this replay I am a bit so I'll go to my replay section I'm going to find this replay yes yes it's Zoker the champion Zoker Allies player, superstar, Zoker, old old schooler, and uh, I'm going to discuss this game. It's Zoker versus Demon from the recently concluded Christmas 2017 tournament. So uh, today, what happened was that uh, Zoker, after a long time, he came to my one of my videos and he was looking for some replays. Uh, casted replays for Red Alert 3 so I thought maybe I would uh, uh, select him um, his one of his replays and cast it so this game is between Demon and Zoker let's start the match we have Demon as yellow Soviets on the right hand side and we have Zoker um, on the left hand side purple allies Barracks opening standard and um, single barracks from Demon walling his refineries. These walls are very important because uh, MCV pushes um, is a threat. MCV pushes from allies and uh, that is also riptide harassments. So walls uh, very good um, thinking from Demon walling his refinery and uh, I think he's going for another refinery I think so he usually does this yes he's going for another refinery and Zoker in the meanwhile has gone double barracks I will try not to use the right click button to fasten up the mouse he sold both barracks and obviously he has uh, made an engineer going for his uh, oil derrick let's see what Demon is doing so with this uh, infantry, lots and lots of infantry, yes, the engineer has, yes, yes, very, um, this was very good play from Zoker. He sniped engineer of uh, Demon and I think um, these, uh, most of these players, they go via this route, this straight route. And this is the easiest and safest route uh, accompanied by bears. But Demon didn't do this. And... Um, Zoker is consistently look he's not wasting his peacekeepers he's going inside the civilian structures and he's uh, trying to sp save his peacekeepers from dying and he's going to get middle so middle is occupied by Zoker and uh, bear scout from Demon trying to scout Zoker Zoker has got his oil derrick and battle marker over here let's see what's happening yes Zoker is uh, has sacrificed one peacekeeper to get inside this civilian structure so this area this area is very very important and now four peacekeepers are coming to uh, get inside civilian structure one of these civilian structures bear is scouting Zoker I think uh, must be aware but he can easily snipe this bear with uh, with a vindicator I think and but a dog is out from Zoker he'll snipe the bear 
so he made three dogs um, i th i don't think this is a good idea from zoker maybe he was uh, trying to get as much infantry as possible and trying to get rid of this um, bear as quickly as possible because he doesn't he didn't start producing a vindicator mcv has been moved by zoker in the meanwhile i don't see mcv of zoker um, yes yes on land he has specifically used land because uh, it's a bit safe position he has a bit of cover and he knows that there is a war factory from demon so he doesn't have uh, in the situation of a stasis ray mcv he can get behind those peacekeepers and get some protection so now he has got mcv position for that mcv push that i was talking earlier about and look at this walling very good defense from uh, the moon he he just walled this area he is going to wall this area as well and uh, te terror drone terror drone uh, making sure that uh, the javelin soldiers attack the single conscript and one terror drone snipes three javelin soldiers so excellent micro from demon very good play and you see um, um, zoker has positioned this turret over here a barracks and three vindicators uh, 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 nearby uh, airfield push also not only mcv push but airfield push uh, these um, uh, these vindicators will snipe this tesla coil he should have sold it bad micro so uh, 750 credits he could have saved but he didn't and now the moon with his own um, barracks he's not pumping out uh, hammer tanks the moon is on uh, three refineries while um, uh, Zoker is on two, but he has an oil derrick battle markers over here. So these three bullfrogs will uh, will just uh, move around. Uh, what the moon does really well, what I like about him, is he uh, uh, positions his um, bullfrogs near as near to the airfield as possible. So when the vindicators attack uh, these bullfrogs, they are going to be uh, attacking their own airfield. Uh, turret in a very good position usually these uh, I don't personally like um, twin blades on three refineries I think it's uh, very expensive hammer tanks would have been better but uh, the moon has decided to go for airfield I think he he wants um, more maneuverable units and orbital drop on um, Zoker's barracks. Zoker sold his barracks boot camp. This refinery has been si sniped from Zoker, and uh, the moon in the meanwhile, while this attack is happening, is going for this oil derrick. And uh, we see some dog, dog over here, a dog over here in the seaside. This uh, war factory is going to be sniped and uh, the moon has a lot of uh, bullfrogs and uh, uh, a couple of mech fighters um, zoker on the other hand has continued his mcv push he's attacking airfield and super reactor so all he needs to do is snipe this super reactor all of these structures will be destroyed automatically and all of these structures have been destroyed a couple of peacekeepers have been sniped MCV push once again from um, Zoker to come over here in this position getting both uh, refineries and these vindicators are sniping power plants forbidding the moon from getting uh, his refinery up in the sea area so he has forced the moon to make a power plant in sea and uh, the moon should have uh, come over here in this area and captured this oil derrick as well because economically the moon is very very behind at the moment only with one refinery so he needs all the economy he can get this there is a dog fight uh, between uh, the airplanes 
and uh, the moon slowly trying to look for an opening trying to harass but he cannot good positioning from uh, zoker he sniped a bullfrog these bullfrogs aren't required much because only one uh, only one apollo fighter to be honest and uh, a couple of uh, soldiers infantry units a star elite star status um, javelin soldier he's just going to put it inside civilian structure and automatically this um, javelin soldier will s try to attack this, uh, this refinery and uh, again trying to uh, get economic um, trying to harass the economy of the moon the moon again trying to make a power plant power plant has been sniped an engineer has been sniped and also um, he's uh, he's on 2.1.5 uh, uh, refs to be honest because he's placed his refinery uh, in a wrong way and he's uh, the very smart thinking from zoker just uh, paused his harvester so that he can protect it from orbital drop there were uh, walls and he didn't have enough time to get this uh, harvester out of the way this uh, refinery is still functional so maybe the moon is um, thinking about making a barracks and clearing out these two units but he won't waste time I think he should save his collectors at least he should bug out this collector to snipe this peacekeeper but he's not doing anything and these two collectors might give him some sort of money from crusher train i think should save them and uh, zoker is dominating this game with four refineries and uh, the moon only on 1.5 refineries and a oil derrick is gone for a, a naval yard and um, somehow um, easily uh, dominating the middle position of Kabana Republic this is primarily a Soviet's map to be honest it's very big map most allies players uh, they uh, they don't uh, play very well but this guy um, Zoker he's very good at uh, playing at Cabana Republic I don't know why Zoker is not expert anymore he has been removed as expert I would I would like to inquire about this why isn't uh, Zoker expert he's a uh, it really saddens me because he's won so many conquer cups and is uh, uh, has uh, he's been a very good player for a very long time but he's not an expert anymore I guess some I don't know wha what's happening over here but let's see and um, this this is a losers bracket match in Christmas tournament so the winner uh, will f uh, proceed to the next round and the loser will be knocked out from the tournament and um, the moon has some sort of uh, units in sea but he's to be honest um, he's not uh, interested at all in this game and I think at the moment he's just waiting to be destroyed cryocopters hydrofoils and uh, riptides combination and with the shrink micro these riptides will eat away all of these um, akula subs so in sea with cryocopters uh, it's very difficult and also this assault destroyer secondary mode all of the energy will be taken away uh, from, uh, from from these units so this is a uh, attack on the 0 0.5 refinery the refinery has been sniped uh, oil derrick has been sniped as well and let's see a uh, collector over here scouting this area and uh, 
the army of uh, Zoker is increasing by numbers. He is using and abusing everything. And the match has been finished, concluded. This game was played in the recent 2017 Christmas tournament. And it was a loser bracket with uh, Zoker overcoming all odds and defeating Demon on Cabana Republic. And uh, this game was very, very well played in a way a very nice play from Zoker and also technique the legendary later season 3 uh, winner technique was asking um, did uh, allies players MCV push and are they cheesing or not so Zoker mentioned to him that he used MCV push and uh, even technique taking notice of this replay um, let's see the resources tab Obviously, we see uh, at the 8, 7.50 minute mark, uh, Zoker and Demon are on equal footing. But later on, from that mark, uh, Zoker has uh, uh, conceded the advantage and he has taken uh, full advantage. And with allies having that much economy, it's always going to be difficult, especially if allies player it knows how to use the cryo shrink micro let's go to the summary kill death ratio even though we saw some good play from demon earlier with that bullfrog uh, throwing away a conscript in sight of those three javelins and a terror drone sniping three javelin soldiers still Zoker's uh, k unit kill death ratio is quite high because of that successful MCV push losing a lot of units and structures and uh, Zoker is well ahead in that count 1.19 so that was it guys I will be posting another cast with a guest called Erva he is from Iraq and we will cast a game uh, tomorrow uh, tomorrow I'll be posting that uh, video Please leave your um, comments. Let me know in the comments what you thought about this replay. It was a very small game, but uh, I had to cast it because uh, it reminded me of uh, the good times uh, I have seen Zoker play, especially versus um, player like uh, Chipsy Obo in tournaments. And that is all from me, guys. I'll be signing off. Thank you so much. Uh, I'll be signing off. Take care.